There was one man over in Holland who vigorously disagreed with Newton's particle theory of light. Christian Huygens shared Isaac Newton's insatiable curiosity. When it came to changing the world, he was no slouch himself. Despite a lifelong struggle with depression, he managed to get a lot done. While looking through a telescope that he designed and built himself, he discovered Saturn's moon, Titan. Huygens invented the pendulum clock. He worked out the mathematical formulas necessary to create a pendulum with an arc that would accurately and consistently measure out uniform increments of time. Huygens sketched a prototype for a new machine that he thought might have some promise. It was what he called a magic lantern. A few hundred years would pass before it evolved into a working motion picture projector. But back in the 17th century, Christian Huygens already had an idea for a movie, possibly influenced by his gloomy disposition. Huygens, like Newton, also invented his own new branch of mathematics, a predictive theory of the outcomes of games of chance. Probability theory, a way to call heads or tails. And like Newton, Christian Huygens had his own theory of light, but it was very different. He didn't think light consisted of particles, like bullets firing along a single path. Huygens saw light as a wave spreading out in all directions. It was already known in that time that sound must travel as a wave. How? Because a voice could be heard around a door when it was slightly ajar. So sound must travel around the door as water would, like a wave. Huygens thought that light moved the same way sound did, spreading out as waves. So which genius was right? The answer to that question of whether light was a particle or a wave would prove to be complicated. Now enter Thomas Young. 